Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Wednesday market webcast. All right, daily chart. Uh, we put up the put up the closing wrap up last night. I did a subscriber webcast last night as well, where we talked about uh, the setups we have been doing during the day and setup we were in, um, uh, which was long from 09. We're still in it, and we talked about some of the prospects for today and into the next week. Um, here's what I'll say here: the lower band ride has continued. I'll be curious to see if it stops, whether it restarts again and you get a bigger drive down. 42.87 is a 200 day exponential here. If, if we continue to demonstrate weakness, um, I think that's certainly an area now, I mean, we're so close at this point, I would be very surprised if you didn't get a look. It, it wouldn't take much to do it. Then the question is, do they bounce off it? Um, do we grind there? You know, do we do, do do we chop there, or do they convert it to uh, to resistance? I think the converting to resistance part, at least right away, is probably the lowest probability outcome of them all. Um, we had a trend down day yesterday, which which was nice. What we are seeing as a byproduct of the lower band ride. We we'll go to the hourly chart here you're getting you're getting highs early in the day yesterday's high was like at 935 um, you're getting highs early in the day in the regular session that bleed away and you're seeing lows of the day being made in the last hour of the day that's very typical for lower band rides. so what you want to look for today is does, is that kind of pattern continuing the hourly mid band which comes in at 4325 has been support now for about six going on seven hours. So the first step today will be, does that, 40, that, does that 25 hold, lift up, um, you know, in, into a move back up towards, you know, that 4350, 4360 area that they battled over a little bit in the, uh, the pre-market uh, yesterday, right in here. You can see the hourly bands tightening up. So we've seen some consolidations, bears win the expansion, Consolidation, bears win the expansion, consolidation. We'll see. Is this the next step in the stairs down? Um, I would expect that to get resolved today. If not, then you're going to end up with a really choppy tape today, a really low vol tape today. Um, it's basically going to sit and really work off a lot of that, a lot of that move. From, from a week ago at the Fed meeting. So it's been a week since the Fed. It's been basically straight down with a little, you know, with little consolidations here and there. But if it really wants to slow down, you could have you could have a day like this. And then eventually, you know, up until two o'clock, then it, then, then it spilled away. But if you look at last Tuesday, you know, it got tight. But again, you know, you're making, you're making, you know, you're making lows, you're making highs. Like I said, I would expect this to resolve today. We haven't seen any really tight, tight band tightening on the hourly charts that's lasted multi-day. I mean, knock on wood, because I'm telling you right now, if it does that, you really gotta slow your trading down, um, get your number for the day, then get out of there, um, wait for it to do something. That's when we typically put on a no trade zone and say, look, between this number and this number, we're not going to do anything. Convert it to the up, we'll buy it. Convert it to the down, we'll sell it. That keeps us out of a lot of trouble, a lot of trouble. It's one of the adjustments we've made in the room over the course of the last couple few years that I really like, that I really, really like. It's like, here's the zone that we're not going to touch. It keeps us out of a lot of flipping and flopping and, and, and commission burn and all that bad stuff. So if it stays tight, be very aware of how small these candles are. These are hourly candles. This is not a fucking minute chart. This is an hourly chart. Not doing much. That could change when they ring the bell. We'll see. All right. So uh, volume weighted average price, uh, basically 28. Hourly mid, call it 25. Um, proprietary moving average, 29.5. So that 25 to 29 needs to resolve. You've got the Globex high as 36.5. If they can take that out, they can go ahead and, and, and take it back to where 
they kind of threw him threw him off the cliff there from the uh, from the hourly mid yesterday, and that's up at forty three sixty six seventy five. I'll believe it when I see it. And don't forget what I said about the tape that we're in as far as rallies go. You can be long. You can stand aside. Don't fight them short. Wait for them to wait for them to slow down. Wait for some lower highs. Plenty of time to get short there. Plenty of time. Plenty of handles. You don't have to guess every inch of the tape where you think it's going to stop. You're going to be wrong more than you're right. All right. Have a fantastic day. Join us over on Circle. That's where a lot of this stuff is getting posted. Um, that's where it's it's the most efficient view at everything that we put out during the course of the day. And it's a and it's a it's a place where you can ask questions and stuff. It's a forum and the whole thing. So go check it out. Have a fantastic day. Be safe, be healthy, take care, trade them well. Talk to you tomorrow. Actually, no, I'll talk to you tonight. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook. And join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.